what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to try to start making the turbo kit on the rolls royce we're going to start by working on the hot side uh last video we got the turbo placement done so now we just have to start plumbing it all in so stick around for the video all right so this is basically where the turbo is going to sit in here we have to come the exhaust side here wrap it around into the exhaust on the big turbo so that's going to be the goal for today. All right, so we have the old exhaust downpipe. We're going to reuse this. We're going to cut it short, keep the flange, and just build this into the rest of the exhaust for the uh, second turbo that we need. So we got these, this side tacked up. Everything's been cut. We're gonna tack this side up now and we're gonna test fit it. See if maybe we take a little bit more length out of it. But uh, let's get this tacked up and we'll test, it, test fit it. That's on a little bit of an angle, which kind of sucks. But that's from when I cut that side and crimped it. It'll still work. <clears throat> See, it's a little low, huh? So if I pull, take take this off, take an inch out of this, It'll bring it up, bring it up, and I think it would be good. And then I can, I'll, we'll leave that tacked, and then we'll try to spin this out, so we get try to get that flange as flat as possible. But at least we know now. So just take an inch out of there. I mean, it doesn't look half bad. Take an inch out, bring it up, bring it up, and, and then, then rotate it. Rotate it. It'll bring it straight with the chassis. Yeah, not bad, first shot. All right, so we have our downpipe for the other turbo all tacked up, test fitted, it fits good. So we're gonna go ahead and finish welding this and we'll throw it in there, bolt everything together to see if I'm making the intercooler piping next. Turbo casting's a little dirty.
Well, it's a unibody. Yeah, it's crazy how those symbols are. Not a, there's nothing to Top of that, that air filter has to go on that side there in the front. So, if you well, just yeah. kind of, we're gonna cut all this shit out. But there you go. Jimmy knows how to weld now. That's it. We're gonna get some custom fenders. <laughs> One off. That should look ugly. Like that. <laughs> or we can go like this. Look what a grinder tool, right? Mm -hmm. Grinder will make you a welder. You <laughs> ain't. Yeah, I already, no, dude, I've already seen it. A grinder and paint uh, will make you a welder. You ain't. I've already seen a high <laughs> Yeah. It's okay. So we can. It's okay, it's okay. Now we can either go here to here, or we can go from here to here. What makes more sense? Either one, you know. Depends how much this one's this know? one's more, you know, even aesthetically pleasing than just a. Elbow. Yeah. More aesthetically pleasing. That's what I figured. But that's it. That's that's done. I like it. Came out good. And then we'll just make that mount to go from the bottom here to here to support the weight. Oh, it's on the bottom of that? Oh. Well, yeah, it goes to the bottom down here yeah, on the on the yeah. frame. Gotcha. And then we'll go to, to the bolt there. We're good to go. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it. We got the uh, hot side completed on the turbo kit. And now all we're waiting on are a couple more parts. And we'll start working on the cold side and all the aluminum piping. So stay tuned for the next video where we start all the aluminum piping, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, guys, so today we're gonna walk through how we're gonna build the uh, piping kit for the Rolls-Royce. And uh, first we have to figure out how we're gonna fit the intercooler. This is a liquid to air intercooler. So save space, there's not a lot of room in here. So this will help instead of putting a big intercooler in the front with the water and air heat exchange. All right, guys. So I trimmed out the inner fender and I um, wait for the airplane to pass. So I trimmed out the inner fender and I had this Pretty stable, guess not anymore. So what I'm gonna do now is there's three mounts for this intercooler. I'm gonna use this welding rod and I'm gonna make some temporary mounts out of some aluminum I have to hold this in place until we make nicer ones. That way with this in place, we can connect it to the rest of the system on the engine. So let's make a couple little mounts. All right, so I made a little template with the welding wire. I'm gonna heat up this piece of aluminum, bend it into shape. So we have one of our first mounts. All right, so we got our first mount made Put a rib nut in the firewall here to hold it. We're gonna get this side up and we're gonna make the front two mounts for this intercooler to hold it up so we can uh, make the piping. All right, so we got the two, the back and the side bracket already made. This is the one on the side. Lined it all up, got this where I want it. I used rib nuts for all the mounting points. So even though these are temporary, when we take these out and copy them to make the real ones, there's no having to fish nuts through everything. I prefer using rib nuts over nut and bolts. But, so we got this in, we're just gonna install this in here. So as long as this is on, it's tight, it's not going anywhere. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we need to do now. Now that this is in, we can make all our piping with this in place. All right, so we have the intercooler. The intercooler inlet and outlet are three and a half inches. 
and the piping we're going to run is three inches. So we have these three and a half to three inch adapters. We're going to weld these onto the ends here, and then we'll put our clamps for everything on the other side. All right guys, so we took our intercooler and we welded on the adapters with the flange for the HD clamp. So we're gonna be using HD clamps on this project like we did before. No intercooler boots, all these three piece clamps. They're pretty neat. They have a little bit of play in them for alignment and the pipe movement, but that's how they're gonna be. There's three pieces, these two, and then the ring. So. We're gonna start building this side of the system. I got this pipe. That's hot. Still hot. <laughs> We're gonna take this and put the clamp on and build the rest of the system. So we got the charge pipe on, looks pretty good. We got some clearance, we do what we need to do, keep it up. It's got free movement, I think it'll work. So we'll get it out and we'll get it welded up. All right, we have the charge pipe to the intercooler on, came out good, so it's just tacked together for now. We still got to do charge pipe connecting both turbos and the outlet side of the intercooler to the engine. Um, but for this video, that's where we're going to end it off. Um, next video, we'll finish this up. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and a little bit more talking, less uh, time lapse. If there's anything you guys want me to add or talk about, just let me know. I'm not an expert of any of this. So if I did something wrong, put it in the comments and I'll fix it the next time. But for now, Thanks guys, see you on the next video.